All right, in this video, we'll go over .NET Framework fundamentals. So what is the .NET Framework? So .NET Framework is a large library of classes and functions to help with developing applications. Um, it was created by and maintained by Microsoft. Again, it's constantly being updated, maintained, and, um, and extended upon. Um, it's a language agnostic framework, meaning you can use the .NET framework with different languages, including C Sharp. By the way, you, you're gonna keep saying the C pound sign. It, it is pronounced uh, pronounced as C Sharp. So I'm gonna kind of mention it a couple times, but from now on, anytime you see C pound sign, it actually reads C Sharp. Um, VB.NET, C++, and other languages, again, it was built to kind of uh, extract out the logic from the language, and then you can use the same libraries and functions uh, in multiple languages. However, the most popular language in .NET Framework is C Sharp, which is what we're going to use in this program. And it is a Java-like language. Uh, so if you've done Java, some of the other ones, PHP, um, C++, or anything, anything kind of closer should be pretty easy to pick up uh, C Sharp as well. Um, .NET Framework is used, um, again, to build .NET applications, mostly used by larger companies. Again, this is kind of changing. It used to be only larger corporations, and now, uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, it's gaining a lot more popularity. Uh, so even smaller companies are starting to switch, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, and again, generally, .NET developers are, are paid more, um, and, and again, the demand is increasing, uh, but um, the supply of developers is lower, is fewer, because there is not a lot of schooling options. You know, most uh, university schools, they, they teach Java or C++ or something like that. still haven't really seen a university or school that, that is fully focused on C-sharp um, or .NET. Uh, okay, so next, you're going to keep seeing uh, different types of uh, .NET phrases. Uh, and I want to make sure you understand what each one means. So we have ASP.NET, we have just .NET on its own, we have ASP, we have .NET Core or ASP.NET Core. Um, so what do all of these mean? So ASP.NET is really the framework for developing web applications. So anytime you hear ASP.NET or ASP.NET Core is really the framework for the web application or building APIs and things like that. So it's the web-based um, framework um, uh, with the idea that you will be using it with for web applications. Now in the in the in the background, it's still using a lot of the .NET framework. You can use a lot of the other um, classes and classes and libraries in, in the .NET framework, but ASP.NET just simply adds more libraries that are focused to web development. Um, what about .NET? What, what is it used for? Again, .NET is the overarching framework, and it's mostly used for developing desktop applications. But again, um, it's really embedded into other um, fram frameworks as well, including ASP.NET. It's just it's a large set of libraries, basically. You can think of it as a really large set of libraries and, and classes to help with the, um, to speed up the development of uh, your applications. So what is ASP? So ASP, if you hear this, I, I often don't even see this anymore, but this was a classic language, much like PHP. Um, again, it's a legacy language, not, not even supported anymore. It is not part of the .NET framework. It was used in 90s, maybe 2000s, but uh, it's a P it was a PHP-like language, but after the .NET Framework, they basically st stopped the support um, on ASP. But uh, but then you have ASP.NET, hence the name, kind of where it comes from. Um, so that's that's ASP. And again, now we have a .NET Core, ASP.NET Core, or, or sometimes just .NET. In actually in uh, 
your command line. The command line um, function is now just .NET. What is this then? So this is um, all of these, uh, the, the different types of .NET Core kind of phrases refer to the new cross-platform .NET framework. Um, so ASP.NET Core C Sharp. So .NET Framework initially was only supported on Windows machines, so Windows servers. Uh, you could only build and deploy your applications to, again, either Windows machines or Windows servers. Um, and this was like this for uh, many, many years. Microsoft was just kind of focused on Windows. They didn't really want to support anything else like Linux or other um, platforms. And this kind of prevented, prevented a lot of companies from using .NET because they didn't want to use Windows servers. Um, but things changed. So I think around 2016, they came up with the um, ASP.NET Core or .NET Core. Um, and this was a complete rebuild of .NET framework in a cross-platform um, uh, manner. So it's it's supported on cross-platforms now. Uh, what, again, what this means is um, it's supported on other uh, non-Windows systems. So it can be, you can build now your .NET Core applications and deploy to Linux or other uh, non-Windows based systems. It still, of course, supports on, on Windows, but um, this is now taking over the the legacy .NET framework. Now you'll still they still support legacy because still a lot of companies use them. So you might see .NET Framework version four, version four point something. But really, the 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 idea is the goal is to to stop supporting it at some point and fully convert over to the new um, .NET Core framework. And now I think at this point we're up to version six with version seven um, uh, in preview. Um, and besides besides the cross-platform features uh, or uh, support, um, .NET Core also um, was another complaint that comp companies had with .NET was that yes, it has a lot of things built in, but it was a slow kind of a framework. So your web applications, uh, even though they were kind of easier to to develop and build and deploy but uh, the performance on them was pretty slow. That's why a lot of companies also did not want to go with a .NET. But that, again, that, all, that whole thing changed with .NET Core and cross-platform. And now with the rebuild of the framework, they basically focused on performance as well. And, and now we have really high-performing uh, systems being built on .NET Core. In fact, if you see the chart below, um, with this benchmark, again, this is like older one and might be better now. Uh, .NET Core is now actually seven x seven times more faster than Node.js. Again, the whole idea of Node.js when it was uh, it came to be was that it was faster. It was kind of really this is uh, um, framework that was really fast to uh, performance wise to build applications on, uh, but now. Now with .NET Core, they're kind of beating the performance benchmarks of Node.js. Hence, you know, it, it makes .NET Core really, uh, I believe, uh, really the number one pro platform to start building applications in. Um, but again, as I mentioned before, because of the schooling limitations, uh, there's not a lot of um, developers being uh, go going into .NET, uh, hence, which is good for us because uh, the demand keeps increasing, which means um, if you know .NET, C Sharp, it's going to be much easier to, I think, find the job. Um, and as you can see in the chart, again, it's being loved by developers now. It used to be that, it used to be that developers with kind of some developers who were focused on uh, cross-platform or Linux, they would hate Microsoft because it was kind of a closed system. Um, but with .NET Core, the other thing Microsoft did is they made it actually open source. So now, actually, if you ever, if you even, if you wanted to look at the code of um, the actual framework, you can actually go and look at the code. But it is still being developed and maintained by Microsoft. Again, it's as far as uh, the chart goes, it's a top five. The C Sharp is a top five language. I think it's 
probably better now this this chart might be a little older um anyway so overall i think it's really great platform to learn and be um, a developer of um and have a career in so as i mentioned increased demand and better performance that kind of concludes um this video uh hopefully this was helpful to understand what net is and how what the different kind of uh, versions and pronunciations are uh, and what the names mean if you have any questions reach out thanks for watching